Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is me, Alan Ander, and I'm finally running the RTM version of Windows 7. I'm um, running here, build 7600.16385, final release, the one Microsoft officially signed off and announced to the world. So, Windows 7, manufacturers from around the world, and, you know, companies will start making drivers for Windows 7, try to make, make sure all their applications, games, drivers, um, productivity applications, Make sure that they all work on the operating system, they don't cause any trouble to the user, and that the smooth process between people who are upgrading from Windows Vista, and even those of you who are doing a clean install from Windows XP to Windows 7, so you can get away from Vista's flaws, Windows 7 will be the operating system of your choice. For those of you who are PC users, and for those of you Mac users who still need to use Windows and you haven't fully switched to the Mac experience yet, Windows 7 will probably be good for you but before we start covering the RTM this is a really quick video I'm gonna start doing um, there'll be more videos soon um, covering Windows 7 new features of the RTM if there's any fixes or anything new from the release candidate which I don't think so because I've been running this probably the only new thing I can find is, an, is a wallpaper right here which is really nice every color on the windows um, blocks or squares represent each of the four seasons so we got fall this is spring summer and winter so really really nice wallpaper I like it a lot and Windows 7 right off the bat of course the taskbar down here I really like it a lot it's really nice I can just pin my favorite applications down here I guess I can put iTunes down here and put it right here put my messenger Google Chrome my web browser and some other cool stuff too if you have multiple windows running let's see I'll just open Windows Media Player, uh, Windows Explorer, if it's still called Windows Explorer, I don't know if it has a new name, and Google Chrome, I also have Firefox installed just in case, and we have some applications I've been using, uh, Camtasia Studio is what I'm using to record the screen, so that's the application if you guys were wondering what, I, what I'm using, go ahead and try that. Getting started, looks simple what's new in Windows 7 it goes to a Windows page and it's mm, really nice so it might sound like I'm talking to myself guys but you know I'm just going over this let me show you one cool thing arrow snap maybe some of you guys have seen this some of you have seen it for the first time I have a variety of users here guys come on so I'm gonna we'll go up here and boom it's, I think it's I think it's called arrow snap and it just snaps to Windows here if you have multiple Windows let's say like a Windows Media Player and you're probably like an IM with someone you can split the window in half so you can have equal real estate space from each other and another thing is I w if I want the Explorer window to be the only window out there from all dozens of windows I might have this is simple shake and all the other windows are minimized it makes that window dominant you want the windows back just shake it back and the fi final thing here if I have a bunch of windows open let's do that right now <laughs> there we go make it more classy let me just show you that feature one more time boom all those windows just get minimized do it again they all come back um, if I go here to the bottom right corner it just show desktop just hovering over it I can see my entire desktop if I just want to relax from everything I'm doing and just look at the nice wallpaper I have let me take a break and then just boom come back to your work you can also click it it'll hide all the windows and you can probably if you, if you need a folder from your desktop if you're done just click it and I don't think your windows come back hmm. That should be fixed in Service Pack 1 on Microsoft. <laughs> Let's see. So close all windows. For instance, Windows XP, I have multiple windows. Close them all like that. Probably like a little dock sim similarity down here, like a Mac OS 10. But it's 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 just quick launch, and then the taskbar looks much nicer. Um, really no improvements in the Start menu. But the Explorer, um, I, I heard from Microsoft saying that they actually uh, rewrote Explorer from the ground up. That they you know, have a new task pane nicer icons I believe and you could just access everything they have something called libraries that replaces my documents and from there that's where you can have everything together your music library videos pictures and documents like you might have so this is a uh, Windows 7 um, released to manufacturing if um, I'll be having more videos soon that cover um, some other features of Windows 7 this, pro this video is probably a little bit long for a first time overview but it'll be a series of videos. I also have uh, some quick tip videos for Mac users where um, there's been some trouble with boot camp drivers that has been causing Windows 7 and Windows Vista to not act normally. So I'll have a tutorial on that so that you guys can reduce 
those bugs and have it run smoothly. So with that, this is me, Alan Andrew, with Windows 7 RTM, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.